So when designing a logo, you have to build a logo system, or they call it a brand system. So you, you don't only just give one logo to the client on a white background, you've got to expand the capabilities of that logo. See, a logo can use in multiple platforms. It has to be used in multiple applications. So sometimes when I'm designing a logo, I'll design it in a horizontal format, a vertical format, I'll design it as a pattern, I'll design it as just a logo icon or a brand mark, and you really have to see the full picture of how the logo can be used and not only for that one use. So that's what a logo system is. You've got to expand it. You've got to you know, design it in a way that it can function in different areas and in different ways. And then not only will that give value to your client, but it will allow you to you know, show that you're responsible, trustworthy, as well as thinking creatively and thinking ahead, you know, so the longevity of the brand or the logo that you're designing. So never just give one piece of a logo and just expect your client to be happy. You gotta give it in multiple formats, you know what I mean? Black and white, you gotta put it in reverse, full color, Pantone. You gotta ask yourselves these questions and really break it down to see um, what you actually need um, for that logo to be a success. And on top of that, when you've done the logo system, make sure you're naming your files correctly, um, putting it in the correct folders, as I've said in my past videos. Um, you know, usually when I'm designing a logo, I'll name it like black and white, or I'll go like logo, and then I'll do like a dash, black and white, um, and then maybe I'll put the pixel height, and then I'll go version one, or if it's final artwork, you put, press F, um, you put FA. So you gotta use the right naming conventions and make it simple and logical in order so your client can find the files um, in the correct folders and use the correct logo. Um, it's also good to do like a one page style guide. Um, I don't do it for all my clients, but for those clients that you know may need a little bit of help in the process, you can just do a simple one page you know style guide showing um, which where the file is located and what files use for what file and show an example of how the logo is colored or whatever version it's in. And it will really help you become a better designer and really help your clients in the process. So yeah, this is a, bit, a little bit about logo systems and why you should do them. And it will really help your process. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and subscribe for more content every week.